Ladies and gentlemen, hello and welcome. My name, of course, is Albert Potato, and this is Per Aspera. Now, this one has been on the Deep Space Hyper Radar for a fairly significant period of time now, because this game is right up my solar system. This is a colony sim slash city builder type game where you have to build a mahusive base on Mars. So, you know what? Without any further ado, let's jump into the game. We're gonna be playing through the campaign. Uh, we have five hours to explore and see what we've got before I'm allowed to post uh, after that. So, you know, there might be a couple of shorter videos uh, for the next wee while, uh, just so that we don't hit out our cap before the date of publication. But I'm sure that won't be a problem. Anyway, let's jump into it. Let's see what we've got going on. I should note that this game is published by Raw Fury. Uh, developed by Tyon Industries and is available on Steam on December the 3rd. And as soon as that date hits, I will be allowed to post after five hours of content in the game. However, we have five hours, a good five hours, to, to see what this game has to offer right now. So let's immediately jump in and see what's in store. Man, oh man. I just, I love the visuals. Dude, it's so nice. This, uh, this, uh, what is it? Type Typographical map style that we have on Mars here. Is this not absolutely wondrous? Oh, man, this looks so nice. I almost wish the actual Mars planet looked exactly like this. All right, cool. We have to build an uh, aluminium mine. Uh, and hey, we have an ISA incoming Mission call. Control calling from Earth. Are you Nathan us? Foster. We read Can you, you loud and clear, Nathan. Oh, we do actually read you. Affirmative, Houston. I am with you. We do actually read Great. you nice and clearly. The primary Mars module has already touched down at the designated landing zone. Okay. It's your turn to take control of the mission. Check the left edge of your display. You'll find your directives there. All right. Follow them to set up the initial base on Mars. I mean, look, on Mars it's, it's a, it's a base building type game. I, I understand. I understand how it works. Terraforming mission. Houston, up. Alright, so I, I have played through, like, the first, like, two minutes of the campaign, just to sort of get a feel for the game. Of course, it's right up my alley. Uh, there was never any question about that. Uh, but we do have these little worker robots that uh, can glide along these rails that get placed wherever you build the end structure. So that's pretty cool. I, I wonder if we're going to have capacity issues. At the moment, I think that we've only got one worker, if I'm not mistaken. I think that this is our one worker here. So it's not really a, a big issue, but it might become more of an issue when we get more workers, if indeed that's a, that's a possibility, which I highly suspect that it is. Okay, a uh, silicon mine? Sure, let's get a silicon mine. The view of Mars from up here is bada -bing, fascinating. Bada -bing. All right. The landscape is so cratered and desolate. I will say, whilst the landscape is a little bit uh, cratered and desolate, the voice volume is uh, a little bit too high. Wait, this is my so voice that go. I am hearing. Yes. It's me. I am talking to myself. I must be verbalizing my thoughts as I process them. Wow. What an interesting function. I tell you what, you could I be, like you could be a content creator. What other observations can I make about Mars? You you too could be a content creator, if only you uh, visualize your thoughts. Attention grabbing. I keep content creator. at its carmine landscape. All right, what else do we need to build? Uh, a glass kiln. Okay, I'm look, we're going to we're going to figure out exactly what is needed in a little bit. But let's build that. I mean, we seem to have plenty of resources to do all of the stuff that we need to do. Uh we've got some resources over here, resources over there, resources over there. I mean, if we have a little look, aluminum, steel and electronics. Okay, which is kind of interesting. And in order to construct the glass kiln, we need 3 aluminum. Uh, three steel looks like our little our little robot can at the moment only carry a single unit of whatever resource over to the glass kiln which I guess is something to note so all of the resources need to be delivered before it's able to actually start construction of the glass kiln which is important I guess also looks like this little robot can run out of charge because I suspect that that is exactly what has happened here yeah okay and then immediately decided to to start. Okay, aluminium mine has also got an output of six. It's got a maximum of, uh, of six units that it can hold. And it mines every eight sols. What is, what is that? Sol is an hour, presumably. Like a Martian 
a Martian hour? An eighth of a... Or a twenty-fourth of a rotation, I guess? Of the planet around itself. Cool, all right. Build a solar farm, build a steel factory. I mean, this is pretty self-explanatory, right? So far, so far, so good. Steel factory, we can get a steel factory. Now, what does a steel factory actually need? It outputs steel. We presumably need to input, you know, coke or coal or something. I don't actually know what we uh, what we would need to input. Yeah, there we go. Carbon carbon and iron. That's, that's what we're after. Now, iron needs to... Iron absolutely needs to be, uh, an iron mine needs to be placed on the deposit. So that's going to have to go down here. It's too far and we have no power. Okay, so that's something to note. Uh, carbon mine, carbon mine is also too far, but we do have the power to do that. We do still have a surplus of power at the moment. We've got 4.9 additional units of power. Why don't we start with the, with the solar panel? Now, the only constraint, the only constraint on the solar panels, interestingly, is the landscape. So presumably, the better the landscape, the better the the better the output. Okay, it looks like there's just a set. It looks like there's just a set output. A set output, regardless of how the landscape is. That's fine. Okay, so let's roll with that. Let's roll with that. I'm trying to space things out because I often feel like I I build I build constructions, I build I build factories, and I never I never leave enough space in the middle. Which is always a problem that I regret later down the line. So let's let's you know try and set up some good fundamentals here, whilst we're whilst we're in the beginning stages. Uh, let's also see if we can try and get a worker hub as well. Now we need to get a worker hub somewhat near the. That's pretty cool actually, in that little crater over there. Okay, so let's uh, let's do that. We'll have two connections to the worker hub. We'll see we'll see what we're able to do with the worker hub as we go, but it requires two aluminium, two steel, and one electronics. Very, very cool indeed. Right, what do we need here? Silicon. We need more silicon, and at the moment the silicon isn't being moved across, presumably, because our our little worker droid is a little bit busy. Busy building two constructions at the same time, I would imagine. Do we have enough resources to actually complete everything here? I think we do. I think we do. I think it's just a matter of moving the resources from where they currently are being stored to where they need to be. Uh, and certainly demand for aluminium is going to be quite high uh, in proportion to everything else I would envision. The solar panel isn't super important. Glass, I mean, we already have a glass kiln. Glass is just a matter of time if we're able to transform the silicon, which is fine. Easy peasy, bada bim, bada boom. So we're pretty much just waiting on this silicon, this silicon mine here. Also, I like how you can see the deposit underneath, which is kind of cool. The glass kiln, of course, doesn't have a deposit underneath, so there's no, I don't know, weird texture below the building, but that's fine. Uh, the worker hub, the worker hub is almost done. So this is, in addition to expanding our network, I hope, gonna increase, yeah, so that increases the maximum number of worker drones that we can actually have. However, I don't actually know, I don't actually know where we go about getting ourselves a additional worker drone. I guess we might have to, I guess we might have to build one? I guess that will remain to be, that will remain to be seen. Okay, what else did we need to get? We need to get a steel factory, but of course, in order to make sure that that steel factory works, we need to get the corresponding... We need to get the corresponding carbon mine, which we can do right now because it's only going to take two aluminium and two steel, both of which we should have at this moment in time. I wonder, is there another deposit for aluminium anywhere? Oh, wow. You can just zoom all the way out, can't you? Oh, that's... Oh, that's lit as they... What the heck was that? Excuse me? That was a... I think that that was a, a meteor, an asteroid, a something, an extraterrestrial body colliding with my planet. That's right. I'm taking ownership of this place. Mars is, Mars officially belongs to Potato. Don't tell anyone. Probably contravenes a couple of space treaties, but, you know, don't worry about that. Don't worry about that at all. Uh, right. Traffic. Oh, goodness gracious me. That's pretty cool. 
We got a traffic overlay. We got a power overlay. We've already seen that one when we placed down the, uh, the what you call it. We've got some time controls here. I, I don't really like using time controls, to be honest, but I will, given that it's just a case of delivering all of the bits and bobs that need to be delivered. We're constructing the carbon mine now, which is excellent. So that's really, really good. And then we're going to construct the solar farm as well, because, well, hey, now we actually do need the power. So that is pretty good. Slow it back down to two times speed, and let's Amy, this is let's see what's going on. Copy. Reading you loud and clear. Excellent. I, uh, I didn't introduce myself earlier. Um, I am Dr. Nathan Foster. No worries. I lead the team here at ISA that, uh, that built you, and I'll be helping you get the mission underway. We put hmm. you in hibernation for the trip from Earth, so I'd like to check your basic functions to make sure it's all in order. Okay. Why don't we start with your core memory? Can you state your primary director? All right. A little bit of uh, a little bit of exposition, a little bit of exposition to tell the to tell the gamer exactly what's going on. Um, admit forgetting. Let's forget. I am afraid that I cannot. Let's meme it up a little bit. It's okay. Your system may need more. He's covering. To He's covering for me. In the meantime, Thank you can always refer to the mission guidelines printed in the uh, upper left corner of your display. This one. You'll also have this one operational directives power grid prioritization okay all right we'll, we'll chat about this in a sec. Base. you can always access your operational directives there all right next i'd like to check your decision making process it's never been good you may have already noticed that there are resource veins outside the boundaries of your initial base yeah. so your workers may not have the battery capacity to reach some of them ah how would you solve this problem Suggest building worker hubs. Suggest placing new buildings. I mean, that's a building kind of the same thing, right? Between the resources and the base would solve the problem. Yes, yes, that's correct. Other buildings would extend your base as well, but they require more power and resources. Ah. So, worker hubs are the most efficient way to do it. This mission's going to be a challenge. There's a lot that can go wrong. Is there? We expect to extend humanity's reach beyond anything previously achieved. But you are not just any AI system. You're well beyond that. We made you an artificial consciousness. That means that you have both self-awareness and self-interest. And that is the last thing I would like to check today. Is that okay? Yes, Dr. Foster. Very good. Then would you please state a positive and a negative aspect of yourself? Positive aspect? Twitch.tv forward slash orbital potato. Negative aspect, twitter.com forward slash over the potato. Uh, answer not sorry, found. Dr. Foster. Running that question through my cognitive system did not return an answer. Roger that. Nothing to worry about. He's covering. Your system requires more input and experience to process that question. That will come with Here's time. the thing. Let's proceed with the mission. ISA has approved the first crewed flight to Mars. You'll need to expand the base to prepare. So get to work Why? on that. I'll check back in later to see how things Why? Go. Base expansion is a go. Why, why, why? Houston, why, why, why have we only started interfacing with our Mars AI once the AI actually arrived on Mars? It, it seems a bit daft to me. Um, maybe, dare I say, we should have done this before we sent the darn thing to Mars. At least check to see if it's working, right? Like, come on. Come on, dude. All right, Steel Factory is almost is almost up and running. I don't know if perhaps the next mission is going to be build a carbon mine, uh, build a build an iron mine. But we're getting ahead of the curve there, so uh, so that's pretty good. Uh, let's just boost it up into 16 times speed because there's no need to hang around. It's all it's all good here. We should have power. We should have power. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. I thought we did have power. Is that? Oh, that's a shame. So that's just out with... That's just out with power range? Even though... Oh, that's got to be so close. That's got to be so close. All right. Well, you know what? We're going to have to build another worker hub here anyway. So... Sure. We'll build it like there. We'll build it like there. I'm pretty miffed that I have to do that, to be honest. But again, look, it's a it's a caution it's a cautionary warning. 
just build build your buildings closer to your worker hubs than you anticipate. Maybe even this is going to be too far. I don't think so, but we got plenty of power spare, to be honest. We don't need to worry about it. We are absolutely A-OK. -okay. Right. Steel factory, we need a couple of bits of iron, and the iron comes from the mine, and the mine is reliant on on this area here. Uh, I don't think that we have the steel in order to do this. We're gonna have to we're gonna have to make a tough decision here. We're gonna have to make a tough decision. Uh, scrap this, scrap this, and then I guess we're gonna have to scrap this as well. Yeah, so scrap that. And then we're going to have to just reconstruct it. Because otherwise, we're not going to be able to get the worker hub properly up and running. There we go. All right. Give that a little give that a little crack instead. How about that? Okay. Excellent. We should have power now. That's still not within power range. So do the worker hubs not actually extend power range? Huh. Very, very, very interesting. Uh, is does it have to be a solar array that does that does power? I mean, if it is, no big deal. We just move it across. I guess it has to be. I guess it has to be the solar panel. Okay. Well, the more you know, eh? Either way, pretty okay with that situation. We're just moving a few bits and bobs around. I guess that's what I that's what I deserve for trying to for trying to overthink my base layout, you know, two minutes into the flipping game. Either way, that's that's us all up and running. Yeah, that's perfect. To be honest, we probably don't even need this worker hub to even exist anymore. But, you know, might as well keep it. Might as well keep it for now. It might help to branch off to the what is this? West? Yeah. Maybe. Okay, so there's the steel factory, we've got the iron, we've got the aluminium. Let's get it built, and then let's slow it right down. Okay, worker factory. More workers can be produced in these factories. Remember, cool, factories, resources need to make the workers. Prioritize production of the building. Excellent. Keep it up and terraform. Great. Now I can produce terraform steel. Mars. This new factory, it's down on the surface of Mars, but I can control it from here. So does that make it a That's, part of uh, me? Where does the machine strange end concept. and my artificial consciousness begin? Okay. A parts factory. Build machine parts from steel, carbon, and aluminium. Right. Well, I ain't going to I ain't going to mess around with this. We're just going to keep it we're going to keep it simple. We're going to keep it very 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 simple. Uh will I have enough will I have enough electronics actually? We are completely interconnected. I might have to ditch I can sense everything that happens through the network of workers of and those. buildings. They are an extension of me down on the surface. So that makes us a single yes. being. The mind and the body work together as one. Clearly. An inseparable whole. An inseparable whole. Yeah, the problem the problem being electronics, we do not have. We do not have any and we need we need to get we need to get uh, an electronics factory, I guess, in order to in order to actually start production. Let's get that down because steel and aluminium are things that we do have in relatively large quantities. So let's do that. Let's get the parts factory. Let's also grab the worker factory here as well. Uh, we do need the parts in order to make this work. So it's probably going to be a little while before that gets up and running. Steel, we are producing. Uh, scrap that for now. There's no reason. Let's get the electronics factory first. I think that we need to do it sequentially, to be honest, more than more than anything else. So we get electronics into parts, and then from parts into worker. I mean, it's not ordered sequentially in the build menu, but, I mean... But there you go. And we'll get these all next to each other, because... You know, screw my previous philosophy. I'm all in compact base designs now. That's That's what I'm all in on. I would dearly love, I would dearly love an additional, an additional robot, because look at this, we're, we're absolutely at capacity when it comes to carbon here. Aluminium we're not too bad for, only two out of six. Silicon, 
completely fine for glass kiln, completely fine for steel, completely fine for... Efficiency is pretty low because we need more deliveries of iron regularly, it seems. And iron is kind of far away, so I guess that makes sense, right? But we're making electronics, which is nice. That's pretty good. And we just need more silicon. I guess the silicon is needed for both the glass and the electronics factory. It's needed in its raw form. Which is interesting to note, actually. Interesting to note. Also, we are completely out of power. What's out of power? Glass kiln is completely out of power. Presumably because, just in general, our solar panel is out of power? We are at not 100% efficiency. Now, I've got to imagine the reason that we're not at 100% efficiency is either due to the fact that it is the evening time, southern summer, seasonal, something like that, or it's to do with structural integrity. Because presumably as the solar panels degrade over time or get dusty, that's going to lower their power output. One has to imagine. Something like that. Right, there we go. Let's get that started. Again, build that kind of far away. Maybe we'll be able to get that done reasonably quickly. Actually, to be honest, it's probably just because we got the parts factory online that we're having our power issues. But to be honest, if only the glass kiln is working at reduced uh, efficiency, I think I can live with that. I think that I can absolutely categorically live with that. Like, that is, that is an okay situation to be in. Right, so... Let's uh, chuck down a workers' factory because I don't think that we have all of the parts quite yet in order to make the workers' factory. We're kind of close. Aluminium we have. Uh, electronics we don't have. Parts we do have. Steel we don't have either. But, uh, but the ability to increase the number of workers that we have will be tremendously powerful and will help with the oversupply and undersupply of all of these resources that are currently hanging around. Is that every is that every type of building that I've got? That is, in fact, every type of building. All right, let's get rid of these little icons down in the bottom right-hand corner, and then we'll wait for our last bit of our last bit of steel. Oh my! Was that another explosion that I saw up here? Pretty sure I I saw another explosion. There's also a couple of interesting things over here. What's this? An oil refinery? Old fuel refinery? Finally. I can build additional workers now. You're telling me. I will appreciate the extra hands. I, but I, I wonder, also. do I really need them? Who doesn't want more hands? They will give the mission a boost. They will give my functionality a boost. They will boost my functionality Bit greatly. egotistical? Having more workers will expand my physical domain Ooh, over this planet. Physical domain. All right, fair enough. Electronics, glass, aluminium, and a single part is all that we need in order to make a worker. Cool. All right, what have we got now? A maintenance facility builds maintenance drones and send them to repair damaged buildings. Uh, yeah, I've got to imagine that it's, uh, it's structural integrity that relates to the efficiency of the solar farm. So getting that... Getting that maintenance facility up and running would be, would be really, really good. However, it looks like we need a yellow icon or a yellow part in order to start doing that. I've got to imagine that that's a polymer factory. What does the polymer factory actually require? I didn't even check. Uh, three steel, three aluminium to build, and it also requires... I think that might be oil? Extracts chemicals from mineral deposits? Oh, okay, so we literally extract the chemicals. Okay, well, we need to get that as, uh, as the first... as the first thing, anyway. Of course... Ah, we now have a maintenance interface as well. Very, very handy. Worker hub is only at 54% structural integrity. I suppose we are two years into this Mars mission. Although I kind of just expected that things would hold up a little bit better than perhaps they have. Bit disappointing. Uh, I feel like uh, perhaps we're building some some pretty shoddy some pretty shoddy buildings here. But what can you do? Not very much, as it turns out. Have we got a additional worker yet? No. We're 29 souls away from doing just that, which is excellent. That's days and days and days of production, right? Souls are planetary rotations, right? They're not hours. They're days. So a soul is a day. A soul ain't an hour. Right. 
steel. We are... Man, we are at such low efficiency. We're at such low efficiency. We just need more workers, to be honest. We just need more workers. And honestly, if I could overclock this iron mine, I probably would. I really would love some more iron deposits, to be honest with you. Uh, what? What's this? A Mars... A Mars NATO? A dust devil. Fine. That's probably okay with me. Right, let's get ourselves... Let's get ourselves a second worker. Hey! The first worker has been made in the worker factory. It is my first Marsborn. Marsborn. The first of many. My workers will spread across the planet. The knowledge base says that workers need to recharge at their own worker hubs. And that they'll degrade over time from the harsh environment. Yeah. I know they are only machines, but I feel a desire to care for them. I do not like the idea of them dying. Alright, well, there you go. Let's build let's build more Marsborn, I guess. Now I feel like that could be a spin-off title in its own right. Marsborn. Uh, also, I'm thinking that if our solar farms are continually producing, you know, less and less power, we should probably just get another one. And again, we're going to try and spread this out a little bit more because this increases our power range and that is actually pretty important. Uh, let's bump the priority of this. Bump the priority of that because it is probably top priority. Yeah, I actually think that we... I think we have all of the components right now. Yeah, we have plenty of everything. It's just a case of getting... It's just a case of getting more workers, to be honest. And the other problem is... Why do we have three workers and only two hubs? Can we introduce more workers into the system without having the appropriate number of hubs? I sincerely did not believe that that was possible. But fair enough, I guess. The worker factories will be so they are helpful. Very helpful. The workers will take care of the manual operations while I focus on developing the life support systems. Soon, I will welcome the first colonists. Their arrival has created so many expectations in my mind. There will be so many paths to take from here on. But there's something else as well. Some kind of feeling created from those expectations. What is it? What is it? Anxiety, excitement. Well, I mean, it's probably ang I am anxiety, anxious, right? But can I truly feel anxiety? I anticipate. I plan. Therefore, I feel fascinating. I mean, look, not to undermine, not to undermine the feelings of anxiety or the feelings of fascination, but I mean, is it really? Is it really? And I, I gotta be honest, for an AI, I feel like you think pretty slowly. Right? I mean, we're what, three years, three years into this, uh, into this process and only now you're having these thoughts? You know, just saying. Just saying. Oh, what was that? I heard a noise. I heard something. I don't know what it was. Either way, uh, I threw down the maintenance facility whilst there was some, whilst there was some chatting going on. Uh, I don't really think that there's much more to say about that other than the fact that we still need more freaking iron, and we still need more freaking robots, to be honest. In fact, is it worth me throwing a couple of additional workers hubs down just to increase, just to increase links? Because, like, this is, like, a, a key area where we could really benefit from having just more, uh, just more accessibility to all of the different areas. But steel is our bottleneck at the moment, which is very, very strange because... We should have enough workers to continuously supply both iron and carbon to the steel factory. And the other thing to consider is that I'm pretty sure that the ratio... I'm pretty sure that the ratio of iron to steel factory consumption is one. So it's one iron mine to one steel factory. Pretty sure. It pretty much is, yeah. It pretty, it pretty much is. It looks to be, it looks to be roughly similar. Which is completely okay with me. Okay, 
prioritize the maintenance facility because I feel like if we get the maintenance facility up and running, we'll probably be able to repair all of our damaged buildings, and maybe that'll make a little bit of a difference to the efficiency uh, and whatnot. All right. What is this? Ar Aerological scanner, not archaeological scanner. It's going to cost us eight computer parts, but that's cool. Uh, what the actual heck is this? Sure. I guess build it there. I have legitimately no idea what this does. Scans the surrounding area for resource veins. So is this going to be is this going to be one of the structures that we pick up, uh, we deploy, then we destroy it, then we pick it up and then replace it somewhere else? Is that what's going to happen here? I feel like it probably might. Right. We seem to have come upon a power uh, a power cut here, but that's not a problem. We're going to get a maintenance drone in just a second. When the maintenance drone when the maintenance drone comes online, I sincerely hope that the solar panel is going to get repaired first. If the solar panel gets repaired first, then we'll probably be okay. Oh. Okay, so multiple multiple structures are repaired at once. So this has got its own pool of maintenance drones. And we build three at a time, apparently. And they're consumed. Oh, okay. All right, well, I got my wish. The solar panel was indeed repaired, which is excellent. That means that we're on the right track, for sure. Steel factory is still in a good place. Wonderful. Okay, so the maintenance facility, importantly, can reach absolutely everything, which is which is pretty darn great. Pretty happy with that. Yeah, this this whole this whole setup is is working is working wonderfully. The only thing that we could really do with, to be honest, is a couple more workers. But I'm not even that bothered about more workers at this point, to be honest. We're just looking to move through the directives as swiftly as we possibly can. The steel situation really does really does irritate me. It really does irritate me. We need more iron mines and we need more steel factories. I think, to be honest, it is that simple. That is how... That is how we solve our situation. Yeah. Okay. So I think that we should see our efficiency increase here. Because we now have a fully repaired building. Which is kind of nice. There we go. That's excellent. Aerological scanners. All right, we're at a we're at a juice though. All right, Nathan, what do you got to say? Hey, Houston, how's it going over there? Do you? Houston, I am getting uh -oh. interference. Aliens. Please repeat. Roger, I asked how it's going over there. Do you? Do Aliens. You need any assistance. Decline. Not at this time. Thank you. The mission is proceeding on schedule. The base will be ready to receive the first crewed mission. Then we're gonna. Soon. Then we're gonna kill the humans Roger, and eat them. Very good. That's right. Another call? Oh, I forgot to mention. We've announced the names of the first colonists that will be right. joining you on Mars. The crew is selected from different nations within the Oxy-UN. The Oxy -UN. Though most are scientists and technicians. They're already undergoing ISA's colonist training program as we speak. They'll be led by Dr. Elia Valentine. She'll be a great commander. The colonists elected Excellent. her unanimously. Very happy. Very happy. Um, before we hear more of his spiel, let's grab a, another... Let's grab another uh, solar panel. There we go. We need more. Uh, ask about the commander's duties. That is interesting. Since OxyUN did not appoint a leader, I wondered why the colonies will operate in the opposite way. Oh, you're uh, referring to the, the active proclamation. You're right. All the participating nations and the United Nations of the West work together as an alliance. But the Mars colonies are a fragile microcosm. You and Dr. Valentine will decide what's best I mean, in day-to-day operations. You'll balance eat, each other out. Eat them. As well as enhance each other's strengths. That's what we're going to do. Okay. Uh, yeah, can we, uh, can we get this scanned, please? Can we get this scanned, please, as soon as possible? Sure. How will we enhance our strengths? That brain we gave you is brilliant. It's capable of developing technologies beyond our current imagination. You wouldn't even need our help to do so. But we theorize that 
Your mind would develop much better by working okay. with the colonists. You will develop better decisions when your actions. I, I appreciate that. Otherwise, how would you understand oh. how your actions affect that humanity's iron? future? Amy, you're the most advanced intelligence out there, but you still need human input to see things from different perspectives. Trust me, you'll understand once you're condescending, but but okay. I understand your explanation. Great. I'm gonna let you get on with it. Mission, Mission control, control out. Now. Thank you. The aerological scanner detected an uncharted structure oh. close by. It's probably a secret abandoned base, or a mysterious Martian ruin. Though humans never found proof of life on Mars or any other planet, is it possible they have the entire cosmos uh, to themselves? Maybe. Doubt it. In all of human history, they have found nothing to suggest otherwise. Yet it seems unlikely oh, that they this do. Is very cool. No, it must be an unmapped structure from a previous mission. That is the easiest Absolutely. explanation. I will investigate okay. it to confirm. Throw down a spaceport. We need to build a colony as well, which uh, I don't think should be too difficult. Let's throw this over here, shall we? We need to get a food factory as well. I mean, we just literally need to build, quite simply, every structure that we have access to. And we're also looking for water as well. Now, a water extractor is going to be... I was way to say it. It's going to be a little bit difficult. Unfortunately, my workers cannot explore buildings. But I will it's already need there. the colonists' help for this task. I should finish getting the initial base ready for the colonists first. Though I can build a research outpost here to prepare. That will give the scientists a place to stay while they I mean, analyze yeah. the structure. Once they get to Mars, of course. I'm working on it. Okay. So this uh, this scanner system, I think it can only explore within its range. We saw the range whilst placing it, which was which was pretty cool. Uh, this iron deposit, I am very, very keen to explore uh, and exploit. So that's going to be good. Water is over there. Water is over there. Discovered that. We've already got the water up here, which we're absolutely going to take advantage of. What have we got? A research outpost? Uh, where am I building the colony? The colony's over here. Why don't we build that? Why don't we build that right over... Right over yonder, I guess. It does require water and food. Food factory is going to be over here. Water is going to be, like, literally at the other side of the world. But you never know. We might be able to build another areological scanner over at this side so that we're going to be able to explore all of the stuff around here. And if we can place the a water track over ready. this side, I will have company be excellent. very soon. I feel quite anxious about this next part. I am not sure why. Indeed, me neither. But hopefully people don't arrive before we've got uh, some food fabrication queued up. Otherwise, there will be problems. All right. Hello, Amy. Dr. What Pasta up, Nathan? Here. How do you read? Over. This is Amy. There is some background static, but Aliens. I need you. One of our tracking and data relay satellites got crippled. We'll be launching a new one after we identify Aliens. the cause of the problem. But until we do... We will lose contact with you whenever Mars or the Sun passes between Aliens. Earth and your satellite. The Robo Protocol. Propose a theory. It may be due to a malfunction in the satellite's electrical system. Oh. I will initiate the recording and backing offline protocol to keep a record of my activities. Good. Good. Make sure to upload that to us once communications are restored. I hope to get the new satellite up and running very soon. I don't like the idea of not being able to reach you, Amy. That's, yeah. Understood. Again. Okay. Strange relationship. Strange relationship that uh, that an AI has with its creator. It is a little a little funky. Uh, it seems like this is just out with the power range. To be honest, not a big deal. We can actually extend the power range with a solar farm as well. Okay, so that's a lot of stuff that we've got queued up to build. Not to mention the fact that the spaceport, which is consuming a heck of a lot of resources, but that's not necessarily a problem. The food factory just needs steel to go. Uh, the colony number one, which should be a research outpost, if I'm not mistaken. Wait, hold up. Have I built two colonies? 
Is there a different? I think, yeah, no, this is the right, this is the right one. It just counts, it just counts as a colony. Okay, fine. Fine, fine, fine. Anyway, that also needs steel. As soon as this aerological scanner is done, we're gonna get rid of it, because honestly, absolutely, completely disinterested in leaving this here. I keep thinking about Dr. Foster's explanation. Why would my mind develop better if my actions are challenged? I do not require other perspectives for my logical processing. Humans are the ones who need explanations to understand right, the world on. around them. No need to... No need to be offensive. What do we got over here? Aluminium over here. Carbon over here. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, well, here's the thing. I think that we need to take this aerological scanner offline anyway. Frankly, really don't think that we need to have it there any longer. We can, of course, just build a brand new one whenever we are ready to do that. Uh, but I would like to get an iron mine here as quickly as we possibly can so that we just have more steel, because steel is just the problem. I can arrive at exceptionally accurate conclusions with raw data alone. Other perspectives are based on subjective data, so why should they factor into a decision? Maybe it's a failsafe in case my data is corrupted Maybe. or incomplete. Then I may not be able to identify the error. In that case, having another perspective may be helpful. It could very well be that. It could very well be that way. However, I just want to build a Mars base. I'm afraid. I just want to build a Mars base. Okay. So there we go. Pretty much, pretty much just doubled. Pretty much just doubled our iron output, which is hopefully going to make a pretty big difference to the amount of steel that we're able to, to pump out, which is pretty cool. Uh, I can go and throw back down that aerological scanner thing, can't I? Yeah, throw it down over here. Sure. It seems like it can scan out with, out with the boundary, out with the boundary that it originally, it originally gave me, which is kind of cool. And good to note. Right, so the spaceport is actually almost there. It's just a little bit of additional steel that we need. I think, to be honest, it's mostly just resources that need to be transported to a certain location. Actually, no. So this figure, this figure includes all of the steel that has already been thrown into different constructions. And I think that's where most of the steel is at the moment. No. I would be able to identify conclusions based right. on false okay. premises. Humans tend to fall for that type of thing, not sophisticated intelligence systems. I wonder what it's going to be like, having to consider human input from now on. Like work. Like work. That's... that's what work is. It will provide an ongoing test for my programming. That will only lead to an improvement in how I execute the mission. That is what Dr. Foster meant by challenging my actions. He truly understands my Did system. He? Does he? Does anyone understand anything? I'm just removing the high priority uh, functionality of every building. It looks like that is maintained even after the construction finishes, which is not what I what I wanted. Uh, but that is fine. Okay, I think that's absolutely every single building either built or currently under construction so we have the spaceport that we're currently working on we're very very close to finishing that up uh, we got a couple more parts that we need from the parts factory and you know it's just steel it's literally just steel it's literally 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 just steel that we need We've got eight bits of iron currently in transit or around somewhere steel factory is producing a good amount of steel probably want to see if we can try and get a secondary uh, a secondary a secondary steel factory at some point probably gonna be soon but that steel factory is working overtime to make sure that all of these constructions in addition to the worker factory and the parts factory have all of the corresponding components because the parts are needed for the spaceport as are uh, as are parts. Were parts not needed for somewhere else? Oh yeah, parts were needed in the worker factory as well. Yeah, parts needed in the worker factory as well if we want to build more workers. We've what? We've got four workers, so 
that's pretty good going. That's pretty good going. I'm not too, not too displeased with that. Food factory is up and running now. So that's kind of nice. I'm still looking for a water deposit around here somewhere so that we can shorten the distance, uh, the delivery time between the water extractor and the food factory. Because water is needed in the food factory, in the colony, and I believe in the research outpost as well. So uh, having those resources driven across the entirety of the existing base, probably a little bit suboptimal. Probably a little bit suboptimal. So we're going to need to see if we can get ourselves a water extraction area somewhere over here. However, however, folks, we're going to have to deal with that in the next episode because that is it for now. Um, and as I say, I've only got five hours of this game that I'm allowed to, uh, that I'm allowed to play before launch day, so I gotta make sure that I ration it out evenly between episodes. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for watching. My name, of course, has been Open Potato. Check out the game, link down in the, uh, the description down below. Uh, if you're interested in helping make videos like this possible, of course, check out the Patreon page. Patreon.com forward slash open potato. Thanks to Banana Nanana, Aurelio, and C-Senpai for being the three $25 plus tier patrons. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.